back to the channel real quick man i am wrestling with this uh i think it's the 2012 model caravan what's going on is uh actually i went and drove with the customer i was a passenger because i had a hard time duplicating it um or i didn't want to have a hard time duplicating it, so we decided to i decided to ride with the customer and lo and behold we did duplicate it what's going on is this van is stalling out when coming to a stop now i'm about to go drive it of course i can't film while i'm driving but i'm at a lot lot right now now the thing about that is from what i felt first of all there is no fault codes no check in the light so remember what i told y'all about that it's time to become uh, a diagnosis okay it's time for you to dig in and figure out on your own because the computer is obviously no help now here's what's going on when you come to a stop the car will boom 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 and just simply stall out now as you can see this is a handicap van <laughs> how terrifying is that if you got sick people riding in your van on a semi-emergency and your van just come to us just a halt just stumble down and then dies out die out okay only when coming to a stop so we have to get this fixed. We have to figure out what is going on. Now, it could be a number of things, man. Like I say, obviously the computer is no help. It's not telling me anything. Now, I, as the mechanic, or have to determine is the transmission causing this or the engine, one of the two. Uh, now, the computer is pretty good about catching uh, drivability items such as uh, misfire and things like that, but this is not a misfire issue. This. Uh, issue is obviously not even monitored by the computer here's what's going on when you drive and you come into a stop if you're what i think if your torque converter is not in lockup mode it shouldn't be in lockup mode anyway because you're not going fast enough to justify being in lockup mode lockup mode is basically an emission thing they're trying to keep the idle stable and everything's locked up uh, in preparation of you going at a steady speed okay that helps with fuel economy but if your car is in that state and you're getting ready to come to a stop and that converter is still in lockup mode, yes, you will stall. Okay, now that's some uh, inputs and outputs. That's some that's a screen on the scan tool that I will have to monitor. I should be able to see if the torque converter is in lockup mode or not at any given point. I don't know. I haven't done it in a while, so I'm gonna have to uh, you know break out the cobwebs myself on this situation. But at any rate. We got to get this guy rolling, man. Um, you can't be riding around with sick people or handicapped people or, um, you know, the elderly in a van that stalls out when coming to a stop. So what I'm going to do is diagnose this thing. I'll just call this part one. I like to talk about things myself or even for my own personal, um, you know, history. I will find out why this thing is stalling out only when coming to a stop. Yes, the transmission will cause that, okay? Uh, so will a number, number of other things, but it's my job to find out and I will find out because this is what I do And I like to bring y'all on you know for the ride with me. Okay, so let me end this video man Let me go try this thing some more and then head back to the shop and uh figure out what's going on. All right. Thanks for watching Comment and subscribe and stay tuned for part two because I know a lot of y'all having this problem Not sure what to do after this, uh, in part two, I'm going to tell you what to do or what to look for, you know, on any given car for that matter because they all pretty much uh, utilize uh, torque converter lockup at a certain mile per hour and at a certain state, okay? So I'm about to get on the road, man. I'll talk with y'all later. Thanks for watching.